Aloha everyone, good morning. For those of you guys that haven't been here before, my name is Jessica. I am a marine biologist that lives in Maui in Hawaii. For those of you guys who have been here before, welcome back. Uh, today's gonna be a very special day. Brian and I have been invited to do Shark Dive Maui. And we're gonna be diving in the shark tank, the largest shark tank or the open ocean exhibit at the Maui Ocean Center. But my favorite part as a marine biologist about this program is, is it really focuses on shark education and stunting all of those myths and really talking about the uh, ecological importance, the cultural importance here on Maui instead of just making it like an adventure trip. So really excited. It's the beginning of the day, so I gotta go to work first. I gotta focus first, uh, but at the end of the day, we're gonna be uh, suiting up. So I can't wait to take you guys with me. Let's go. day I got to come back and check in as a shark diver. As part of the Shark Dive Maui experience you get to see the aquarium first so Brian and I explored the park and saw the open ocean exhibit and the underwater tunnel. I really recommend showing up a few hours early to take advantage of this since it gives you a chance to see what everything looks like before you dive in. Once we finished exploring the aquarium, Brian and I dropped off our gear and we met with the other two divers. We also met our dive masters for the day. We were lucky to have both Matt and John Gorman in the water with us. They're both great divers and super knowledgeable. The experience starts with an exclusive viewing of a 10 minute video featuring the aquarium's Hawaiian cultural advisor as he explains the importance of mano. Watching the film really added an extra layer of depth to the experience, which I wasn't expecting. One thing I really appreciate is that Shark Dive Maui is focused on the cultural significance of the sharks instead of just being an adventure activity or an adrenaline rush. So I really appreciate that as a marine biologist and an educator here in Hawaii. While we were learning about the sharks, the Gormans had already set up our dive equipment for us. All we had to do was wiggle into our wetsuits and climb up to the dive platform on top of the open ocean exhibit. After a quick entry briefing and some suspense as Casper and Jen hopped in, it was finally our turn to enter the water. <laughs> Once we entered the exhibit and started to descend to the bottom, you realize just how peaceful and serene swimming with sharks really is. Especially compared to the crowds of people inside the tunnel right on the other side of the glass. This whole experience can be a little overwhelming at first because you are surrounded by animals on all sides. I didn't for one minute feel concerned about my safety inside of this tank. It is so relaxing and peaceful, and the sharks give you plenty of space. Once you get to the bottom of the tank, this is the simplest dive you've ever done. All you have to do is stay low, keep your arms in, and look up.
I know this experience is called Shark Dive Maui, but man, there are so many cool animals to see inside of this tank. The stingrays in this exhibit are incredible. They'll swim right down to the bottom to check you out. And at one point, the ray even came over and belly flopped on my legs. Just like sharks, stingrays get a pretty bad reputation because of their ability to sting with the barb on their tail, but they're incredibly docile animals and it was so fun to experience that with them. Even though most of the attention goes to the sharks and the rays in this exhibit, you cannot discount the big fish in here too. The Alua Akea or the giant Trevally Jacks are absolutely massive. At about 130 to 150 pounds, these huge fish school around in groups in the middle of the exhibit. And unlike the sharks, they have no sense of boundaries. So every once in a while, they would bump into your shoulder trying to get past. And last but not least, one of my favorite fish in the exhibit is macadamia nut. Mac nut is a 300 pound Hawaiian giant grouper. She's actually a rescue from the island of Hawaii over on the big island. And as a rescue, she's not a candidate for release, so she's become very accustomed to interacting with the divers. It was really fun watching the Gorman sprinkle rocks over her back to give her little back scratches. We were so incredibly lucky that we dove at the same time that the Maui Ocean Center had a juvenile female tiger shark on exhibit. She spent most of her time up at the surface because that's what tiger sharks do best, but at one point she swam down to take a look at each of the divers nearly grazing Jennifer's head. Another cool thing that you get to do on this dive is to look for shark's teeth in the sand. Sharks lose their teeth all the time. Certain sharks can even lose up to 50,000 teeth in their entire lifetime, meaning that the sand in this exhibit is literally just littered with teeth. This experience is a huge testament to how smart and reserved sharks actually are. Brian and I are proof that you can be in the presence of 21 sharks and come away with all 10 fingers and toes. And just like that, it was over. We spent 45 minutes in the water with all of these incredible animals, but there's so much to see that time just flew by. We swam back over the tunnel, giving everyone one final wave and our dive masters helped us out of the water. We then took our newly collected shark's teeth haul back down to the shark dive showers. As we packed up and rinsed off, everybody was all smiles and sharing their stories about close encounters with the sharks. Uh, that was such a good dive. It was the first time Brian had ever done that dive, so it was uh, so worth it. I am sporting my new shirt. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, it might be backward on the video, but Shark Dive Maui. And there was 21 sharks and two rays, and we got to swim with them all. Quick rundown, we had our white tip reef shark. We had our black tip reef shark. We had our gray reef shark. You guys catching a, a system here? We had our sandbar shark, and last but not least, we had our tiger shark. In most parts of the world, like if you see a shark in the wild while you're on a dive like that is really unique there's not that many unfortunately uh, out on our reefs anymore there are a few places in the world where they still are and that's awesome but out here in Hawaii if you see like one or two even sharks on a dive like that was a really good dive and it's usually their tail as they're swimming away from you but being able to see like 21 sharks um, and five different species of sharks um, in that in that group it was just so worth it it's just a really incredible experience you really feel the mana or like the power of these animals while you're down there which is exactly what like Hawaiian culture wants to impart upon our visitors. Thank you guys so much for joining us. I hope you guys had as much fun watching it as I did filming it. If you are a diver located here in Maui or planning on visiting Maui anytime soon definitely check out Shark Dive Maui uh, out of the Maui Ocean Center. It is the only guaranteed shark sighting here in Maui. And I will see you guys around next time. Ahui ho!